into week five of the Build Your Stash collaboration. This week is the final week of the collab, so I'm excited to share with you guys my final project. Um, before I get started, just quickly, um, if you stick around to the end of the video, I will give you the details on the giveaway that I um, had planned for you guys that I had been talking about um, in previous videos. So let's get straight into it. Um, so I've decided to make some ATC cards, and basically all they are are three and a half by two and a half inch um, rectangles. Um, ATC stands for Artist Trading Cards. So if you've never heard of it, just Google it. Um, they're supposed to be like little pieces of art that you just create and share with, you know, just people. Um, I thought these would be perfect because they're small. Um, you guys know I like to use my scraps, so there'd be a great way to use your scraps up and um, just decorate it up to your liking and just send them off. So I've created two here. So this is the first one. Um, I used uh, the Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection, Flourish Collection, as well as the, I think this is the confetti, I think. Some chipboard pieces, some trim, um, like a metal heart here, and like a, a die cut, uh, almost like a doily, okay? And this is the second one. Again, I used the Maggie Holmes Flourish Collection. I actually sewed around the edges of this one and I use some trim some more chipboard stickers here and one of those butterflies that I made a few weeks ago okay so those are the ones that I made already and I'm just gonna go through quickly um, this third one right here and then I'll package it up so basically like I said you want to start off with a three and a half three and a half by two and a half inch um, sheet of paper and usually the base is made of a very sturdy cardstock or like a chipboard piece or just something that's just going to be sturdy. So I actually made this with a, I think it's a 110 pound cardstock. And then I layered it with a sheet of scrapbook paper from, this is the carousel collection from Maggie Holmes. And I went ahead and stitched around the edge. Okay. So basically... All we're gonna do is decorate it. You can decorate it the portrait way or you can decorate it the landscape. Um, I'm gonna decorate it the portrait side the long ways, okay? So basically we're just gonna go ahead and decorate it just to show it how it's done. Um, I have a chipboard piece right here from Maggie Holmes. I don't know what collection this is from. I have like three collections. I think this is from, I think this is from, um, confetti collection I believe but anyway here's a chipboard sticker I'm going to just place here okay so I basically have everything already out that I want to use um, I made these like epoxy sticker embellishments um, some months ago so I'm gonna use one of these for the center and I think I want to add a little color so I'm just gonna add this B fab right here and this is gonna go in the middle uh -oh. It's ripped in the back, but it didn't come through the front, so so it's still kind of intact. So I'm just going to use some glue. And these are very quick, very easy to do, and they're fun. I like them because of the size. I like small things, so um, that's why I like the size of it. And I think I'm going to lift this up because I want to put the trim underneath first okay and then I'm gonna use some glue just random just to keep it in place I'm gonna go a little further up because I want to put this selfie word down right here um, I might have to choose another word because this one is it's a, a acetate is see-through transparent and um i don't have the only thing that i have to kind of pop it up are the pop dots and they're white and i don't want them to see i don't want to see through i don't want to see the white so let me just grab one of these stickers right here um Let's do life collected right here in the middle and they're 
like I said, they're very easy to do. And then I'm just gonna embellish it with a few rhinestones here. Um, let's just do some pink. So we're just gonna put like a small cluster at the bottom. And I'm trying to figure out what other details I can add to it. Maybe we can put some stickles right here in the flash, just to add a little bit of sparkle. And that's really about it. This is really all I want to do with this one. I think it's cute. It's simple, but it's cute. So that's a very, uh, a very quick, like I said, a very, a very quick project that you guys can do. Um, I didn't want to, you know, do anything that took up a lot of time. But I just wanted to show you guys something very easy and quick to do. So, again, these are ATC cards. And just Google it. Like I said, just start off with a card base that is three and a half by two and a half. And you just, just decorate it. So, I'm going to package this up right quick. And not this one because this one's still wet. I'll do this one right here. And they actually have sleeves that are specifically made for ATCs, but if you make them, they're, I think they're made for ATCs that are more flat, that don't have any dimension, so they, it might not fit. It might fit kind of snug and just very tight if you add like, you know, dimensional um, elements on the card, but you know, these always work perfect. So I'm gonna package this up and put a topper on, and then, um, and then I'm gonna just add it to my stash. So along with ATCs, I'm just going to do uh -oh, a quick run through of everything that's included in the giveaway, which will start today. So today is Monday the 27th and it will end on Saturday. Um, this Saturday, I believe is the first. And it is open to US only. So I will host a US only um, giveaway this time. And the next time that I host a giveaway, it will be open internationally. But for this one, it is U.S. only. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Um, all my international friends, just stay tuned. I will definitely host a, another giveaway where it's open to everyone. And um, you, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. And the most important thing is to comment down below because that's where I will draw the names from. So make sure you comment. And I will, um, like I said, I will keep it open through Saturday, this Saturday, upcoming Saturday, which is September, uh, September 1st. And I will close the comments on, um, maybe like 11 o'clock that night. So 11 o'clock Eastern time. And I will announce the winner on Sunday. So, um, so like I said, so let's just go through what I've made for this, um, series. Uh, the winner will receive one pack of these vellum rosettes, okay? And these were made with washi tape. Um, you guys will receive, or one winner will receive, will receive one pack of these butterfly embellishments. And you will also receive one of these one of these, uh, these are the cluster, the trim cluster embellishments that I made last week. Okay, so you will also receive one pack of those. Okay. You will also get this um, package right here and it's filled with these embellished frames. Okay, so, and then you'll also get one of these um, ATCs. ATC cards. Okay. So you will receive a total of five and it's, and I'm putting it like this, but this is not exactly what you're going to get. You're going to receive a total of five, um, five items. Okay. 
And um, like I said, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. The most important thing, like I said, is to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a great time showing you guys what I came up with. I am working on some new videos that I can put up. I'm working on some projects, so I'm going to kind of leave the embellishments alone for a minute, and I'm gonna gonna start working on some projects to show you guys, just like project shares. So, um, I guess you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Um, good luck in the giveaway, and um, I can't wait to announce the winner on Saturday. So. Um, enjoy the rest of your week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.